Ah, so here is like... another another bridge to build. Excellent. Oh. <laughs> now careful, <laughs> you might start a fire. Yeah, I was about to say, oh, Kristen, that's not will. that's not proper fire safety right there, but that's okay. <laughs> Hello, my friends. Welcome back to PlayStation Underground. On today's episode, we are playing Zing the Land Beyond, which is coming to PlayStation VR. We are playing on a PS4 Pro. I am joined by Sid Schumann to my right, and I have Kristen now over there play, playing Yonder. Just a beautiful game. Yeah, beautiful kind of puzzle slash adventure slash storytelling game. We're, we're rudely talking over our narrator here, but in the world of Zing, you are already dead. Wait a minute. I'm already dead? You're dead. Kristen's dead right now? No, well, not not Kristen. Just <laughs> Kristen is playing. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> and uh, Zing is a story-driven game that is telling you these, you know, basically a narrative about you as a character and also the lives of other characters that have passed into the afterlife. Um, as, as you can see, Sid, beautiful, uh, you know, Gorgeous. very puzzle heavy. We are going to just take a quick look at uh, a demo here and uh, see what this game has to offer. You've actually interviewed the team at White Lotus in I the did. past. I think E3 or PSX, one yeah. of those shows. It was, uh, I think it was E3 last year, and I was really impressed by this team. It's a small team. Uh, but it's a team that kind of got together for the purpose of actually creating this game, mm -hmm. uh, Zing. Uh, and they, I believe they're originally from uh, fellow students. I think they all that came up correct. in the same class, right? That is correct. And uh, what I just like about the, the sort of game's premise here, it's very peaceful. Uh, yeah. And there's this mystery, you know? Tell us about the mystery, Kristen. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Kristen, you have to tell us everything about the mystery. Well, There's a pineapple. Let me That's... tell you about this pineapple. <laughs> well, no, I don't. I don't know quite about the mystery, but I was just gonna agree that it's it's a very like serene game. It reminds me a lot of The Witness, of just this very like relaxing. Mm moving through this world and trying to solve its mysteries. Mm. It's pineapple mm. mysteries. Now, you're going to accidentally throw it into the I river know, and I have to start it. the whole thing again. <laughs> yeah, and I just love anything, uh, any kind of fictional, oh. Oh, any fiction. Christian wanted to take a little bath, That's a little right. rinse in the tub. It's so immersive. <laughs> <laughs> I love stories set in the afterlife or between the land of the living and the dead, and, and that's where Zing takes us. So for, for those wondering about the narration, as we move through this world, it's that every level is a different person's afterlife or their, their life that you're moving through. So these tablets sort of are telling the story of someone here named Rila or Ryla. Uh, and so as you move through the world, the narrator's telling you a little bit more about what happened to them and what their life was. Shades of um, what's that giant sparrow game like Edith Finch a little mm -hmm. bit of oh, that. An echo of Edith Finch perhaps? An echo What perhaps. remains of Edith Finch. That's correct. Perhaps. Per perhaps a tiny dollop of a, of a gone home or the like. Mm -hmm. um, so very cool and, and a lovely looking game. I mean, very visually lush. That's that's one of the great things that once again we have to tell our audience that playing it in in VR is going to be an entirely different experience than seeing us talk about it yes. on your screen. Although I'll tell you, this is holding up better than uh, some of these games hold up in terms of you know TV play. It actually looks great. Yeah, it looks beautiful, and I mean clearly the team you know spent a lot of time and effort to make the visuals. Uh, you know, not only beautiful, but as Kristen pointed out, very serene Ooh. and contemplative. Hey, Kristen. And lighting a stick on fire. I, which I, I'm, I'm always happy Kristen, to Kristen, it's your dream come true to light a stick <laughs> on fire. <laughs> oh, no, I forgot to turn off the rain. Let's go turn off the... Wait, what? So, I, as you guys might have noticed, there's these, these little touch points that when you go to it, you can change it from night to day. That will open certain doors. Um, in this case... I needed to raise the water so I could get across there to get to the fire, but to do so I needed to literally make it rain. Make it rain. So here I will make it sunny again. It's nice. Wow. Now the water will go down. But and you clamber across to the other side, yeah. I see. Ah. Now Kristen, give us kind of a little bit of a, an exclusive report <laughs> of what it's like to actually play this in VR. Like what, what, what are you sensing right now? I mean, it just, like I said earlier, it feels very serene, but it, it's a very like smooth motion. Like I, I feel like I'm genuinely wandering through this area um, and lighting with my sticks on, stick lighting on stick. fire. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it, it's definitely built in a really, I don't know what the word for it is. Like it feels very natural. Mm. Like I don't feel like I'm 
going over unusual crests or anything like that. When I jump, it makes sense. Everything feels very fluid. It doesn't feel like game. it doesn't feel like you're clambering over some confusion of polygons or Ooh. right. Look at this, Sid. We're building bridges. Indeed. On PlayStation it, I don't know why, because it's such a peaceful game, I want to do my together, NPR voice. Yeah. Yeah. So it looks like this the door, I need to change it to Sunny again. About their parts, so I need to find another pad days, and with my fire stick. Strong. Yeah, I wonder if you need that. I, I, I think that she should carry it for as long as humanly possible. Kristen, is your hand feeling hot at all right now? <laughs> <laughs> can you feel the, the sensory, warmth? Sensory, the sensory perception. I can just hear the cackling. <laughs> Ah, so it here is like another another bridge to build. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> now careful, you might start a fire. Yeah, I was about to say, oh, Kristen, that's not will. that's not proper fire safety right there, but that's okay. <laughs> so you're standing on these pads to uh, make those so adjustments. See now that doorway will close. Ah, but that oh. one is now available. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa, Goodbye, stick it. of fire. Goodbye, stick of fire. We'll see you in the next afterlife. But just the detail, like these butterflies. Oh, and like I didn't even trees. see the butterflies. Sid, there's butterflies. Now, did you know the story about the butterfly, how it got its name? Don't oh, you God. go into that now, Sid Schumann. You know that's not true. You already told me that story. I looked it up. It was false. Okay. And you heard it here first on PlayStation Underground. <laughs> That's how I look in the morning. Yeah. Just those two <laughs> yawning faces perpetually <laughs> <laughs> spewing water everywhere. You drool in your sleep. Drool. Right? Yeah, I just, I'm a bit of a drooler. Always interesting to me just see how uh, developers tackle VR as a medium mm -hmm. because it's not just sort of hair, uh, press your face up against, you know, a screen and play kind of a normal game. Um, you really have to rethink everything as yeah. a developer. I mean, one, one classic example is I've heard uh, a lot of developers say they look into the architecture who found the and, and how you make public spaces in the real world the because that has much more to do uh, with how they, they sort of build the, the experiences in VR. It's just so different than traditional game development. Yeah, so absolutely. interesting. Old and it looks beautiful. I mean, we're playing on a PS4 Pro, uh, you know, with, with PlayStation VR, VR but... Our, our uh, unit is a PlayStation 4 Pro, and it makes it look quite nice. Indeed. Mm -hmm. um, oh, wait, let me, let oh. me read it. Let me read it a little bit. A oh. monster dwelled within. <gasps> Sid, can you... Wait, hold on, Kristen. Can yeah. you go back to the tablet? Sid, can you give us a poetic reading of this tablet, please? Can you even read it from our screen? It's can you too read far it? away. Can you read oh, it? Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Old rumors spread about that place described, a treasure to be found but warned a monster dwelled within. A shadow creeps without a sound. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I think you could have done that better, Ryan. I mean, <laughs> I would have given it a different energy, mm -hmm. but- You, you could do the I next have, one, Ryan. Okay, I'll do the next one, and then we can uh, we can call it a day. <laughs> Although our narrator will probably do it. Our narrator will do a better job. Let's hear. Just like he did when they were small, his confidence a calming force his laughter lighting up the hall. Yeah, I would say that the narrator <laughs> brought a better <laughs> vibe a pretty good job. to it. Yeah, than, than the professional voice actor for did a, a, a slightly better game, job. beautiful game though. Like what a like beautiful moon. That's sky. that's not the normal moon. Some <laughs> freak know. moon. <laughs> I don't think that's the normal moon. No, that's the moon. As they hike, that's the moon that is I see every really? every really? night. Where no, I don't know. We are in the afterlife, Sid. I think the moon is allowed to look differently <laughs> in the afterlife. <laughs> were counted more than Gorgeous. Look at this. Look at this lighting. Oh my goodness. I can only imagine what it would be like to be wearing that headset right now. I mean, technically speaking, well, after the recording, you could walk over there and put it on. <laughs> it's not like uh, a forbidden fruit. <laughs> And yeah, this is beautiful. Show before they all Ooh, getting a little clue here. Beginning. Tower at the beginning must become a tower at the end. Mm, a clue to the puzzle. And we are going to be wrapping. Oh, look at that. Look at the light Each and the lava. Magma. And you, you know, you, you ever see these puzzles, Sid, where you have to try and move the pieces in size from one side to the other? No. Uh, well, we're not going to give away the, the, <laughs> the solution, but ladies and gentlemen, this oh. has been Zing the Land Beyond, which is coming to PlayStation VR. Uh, Sid and Kristen, thank you guys so much for joining me on the program, and you can, of course, see more soon on PlayStation Underground. We'll see you next time. Please.
テンション。